Hello and welcome to Shark Jets. I'm Skid Viss. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, how to get your Android manifest file to not get adjusted by Unity because sometimes it includes things that you're not actually using and that'll cause rejections when you try to upload to the App Lab store. So we're gonna get into that, but first, please make sure to like and subscribe and hit that like button, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, do all that stuff so that Unity uh, knows I'm here and also YouTube can tell people that I'm here. I want them both to know I'm here. Um, and I'll keep making these videos for you. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so let's start off by demonstrating what the problem is, right? So here we are in Unity 29 LTS, 2019 LTS, and I've got a game that I've just made. It's a very exciting game I call Stabby Knife. Um, but that's not what matters here. We're gonna go ahead and build this like we would. We're ready to deploy. We're gonna wanna upload it to App Labs. So we'll build it and uh, see what happens. But first, hold on a second. Uh, if you watch my other video, you'll see that there's a section in Oculus um, and then there's a create store compatible Android manifest. So what that does, if you did that, is it creates a manifest file inside your plugins folder under Android. And if we go ahead and look at this, it'll open up the Android manifest file. And what we're looking for is these uses feature um, elements. And so this will determine whether the device requests permissions for certain things, um, whether the app will request permissions from the device. So in this case, you can see the only thing we have here as far as uses feature is head tracking, and that's uh, something we probably need for VR. So, okay, this one looks fine. So we can just go ahead and build this like we normally would. We'll go into project settings, um, come down over to other settings. We will update our game version and our bundle version so that um, that works with uh, App Labs, and then we'll go down to the publishing settings and we'll select our key store so that we can sign this. So we'll go ahead and put in our password of subscribe. I mean, that's that's my password, not, not yours. You put in whatever your password is. And uh, then you can close this and go ahead and do a build as you normally would pick a place to save it. I already have one on my desktop, I'll delete that one. And we'll go ahead and let that run. Okay, so now that succeeded and we believe we have a good APK and we'll upload it to App Labs and then they'll reject it because we're asking for permissions that we don't actually use. So how do we know uh, what's actually happening? So we'll, we'll need Android Studio for this. So I'll put a link to that in the description so that you can just go ahead and download that. And then you can do this profile or debug an APK and it'll ask you to find that APK. So we can actually go to my desktop, wherever that is. It's not there, it's here somewhere. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And there's my stabby.apk, so I'll go ahead and open that. And this right here will show us the APK and everything that's inside it. So we can see there's an actual Android manifest in there. So if we click on that, it'll show us that particular file. No. All right, so now if we look at this, we're, we're gonna see that there's actually a lot more stuff being asked for. So here's our use this feature for head tracking that we put in there and that's fine. Uh, but now if you scroll down, you'll see we're also using feature microphone, using feature touchscreen, multi-touch, multi-touch distinct, etc. So we didn't ask for all that, so where's that coming from? Now what's happening is when you do a build using Unity, it searches through all the source code that's in there. And if it determines that you're using something that's not in the manifest, it will go ahead and add it. 
So in our situation, what's happening is that Oculus themselves in the Oculus integration are using uh, these microphone features and things like that. So it's finding that source code and it's adding this for us. But since we're not actually requesting it, Oculus is gonna reject this for us. Um, so it's kind of uh, an issue that they're causing and they are rejecting us for. Um, so how do we avoid this? Well, it basically involves turning the build process into a two-step process instead of just a one-step process. So we'll go ahead and figure that out. So the first thing we'll wanna do is back in Unity, uh, we're gonna have to change our build process. So instead of just normally coming down here and hitting build settings and then build, we're gonna actually want to hit this little check mark up here that says export project. And so now when we hit build, the build button is no longer saying build, it says export. So we'll go ahead and do an export and I'll just uh, create a new folder here on my C drive and call it Stabby. And I'll just put all this in there. Okay, so what that did is it dumped out everything we need to build this outside of Unity into that particular folder. So we can go ahead and close that and close this. But one thing you need to uh, remember, well, we need two things that we got to focus on here. Um, when we build, every time we do a build, even though we're going to be doing the build outside of Unity, you still need to come into this other settings and increment the version number and the bundle number every time you want to do a build, right? So that process needs to stay, otherwise you're going to get rejections. The next thing is we, we set the minimum API level, right? In order for it to work with Oculus, it has to be Android 6 and above, right? So there's many versions of Android, so I'm using version 6. API level 23, I don't know what you're using, but this is what works for me. And this is very important, so we'll see about this in a second. So now we're done in Unity, and now we can go back into Android Studio. And let me close this project and open an existing project. Now it's gonna ask me, where is this project? So let's find my C drive. Well, before I do this, no, I need to do this. Okay, so let's see, where was that? C Stabby, there it is. It even knows it's an Android project. It's got the little Android icon there. So then it's gonna ask me um, that this project uses different SDKs. Uh, do you want to use Android Studio's SDKs or the project's SDKs? Now, you're gonna be tempted to use the project's SDK but I've run into issues with that, so I use Android Studio's SDKs. Now, I'll tell you why that's important here in a second. So we open this up, and we'll see all of our files here, and we'll need to go into the menu here and look at our SDK manager. And this is, when you install this, it's gonna load whatever SDK it installs when you install it. Um, but what I've done is I've created a special folder on my C drive that I call Android SDK. Um, and I edit this and set it to that particular folder. Um, and then you can select all the different SDKs you want to load, right? And as I said, there's many of them. So I know I'm using Android 6, 23, right? So I check that and hit okay and it'll install that SDK in my C Android SDKs folder so that it can actually use that to do the build for this particular project. So again, create a folder on your C drive and call it Android SDK or whatever you want um, and point this to that and then just install whatever SDK it is that you think you're gonna need based on your Unity settings. So in my case, it's Android 6, 23. Yours is probably the same, so just check that and it will install it. Um, and then you'll be ready to go. So once we're there, um, everything else is fine here. You can look at your uh, manifest. 
Okay, so not not in the launcher. The launcher is uh, well, the, the Unity launcher, but your project is actually going to be this Unity library. So if you look under Unity library, manifest, Android manifest, you'll see the actual manifest that was created by Unity. So we know we don't need all these other things, right? We don't need the microphone. We don't need touch screens. We probably don't want record and modify audio. Uh, so we can actually just go ahead and just delete all of these unless we're actually using them. If you're using a microphone or a touch screen, well, you wouldn't use a touch screen, but if you're using a microphone, of course, leave that. Um, and so then we delete all that. And now we have the manifest that we actually want. So I'll go ahead and save that. And then uh, up here, you'll see under build, you'll see generate signed bundle slash APK. And that's what we want. We want to sign this just like Unity would. So we click on this and it's gonna ask us if we want an Android app bundle, which is for mobile phone applications or just an APK. So we'll click APK, say next and we know we have that key store that we're using um, inside of Unity. So if you go into Unity, edit, project settings, and then this, this publish settings is where we keep our key store, right? So you can, you can see that we have this particular, wherever you're keeping your key store, I don't know where you're keeping yours. I'm keeping mine inside the project itself. So I know where it is, so it's in my, path to this project. So it's right there. So I'm going to point that inside of Android Studio to the same file. So I'll choose existing, find my game, which is under GitHub. I believe it's Blade. There it is. It hadn't updated. So there it is under Blade. So then in here, I can find that stabby knife key store. And then um, this needs to match the same information that we had inside of Unity. So I know my key store password was subscribe. My alias was stabby. And my password for that was also subscribe. So we say next, and then um, we select whether we want a debug, a debug release or a, or a release release. Uh, build and so I'm going to select release and then we got to check these two check boxes here We want a jar signature and a full APK signature and then we hit finish And it will take a few minutes to build but then you'll get this generated signed APK successful And so now we can either locate the build Let's go ahead and do that real quick. So it's gonna put it into its own little folder, launcher release, launcher release.apk. Um, and if you analyze it like we did the other one, it'll open that APK and I can't see anything because I have this dragged up. But if we open the Android manifest now, we will see that all those features are gone. We have head tracking still, but all the ones that we deleted are no longer there. So now this build is ready to go. Um, you can go ahead and upload this new version of the build to the Oculus website, and you should not get rejected for requesting too many permissions. Now, again, it's important that every time you do a build, you don't forget to come into other in Unity and update your build version and your bundle version. Otherwise, when you upload it and you try to get to App Lab, it's gonna say that bundle version already exists or that version already exists. So you wanna make sure that you don't forget to do this even though we're changing the way we build things. And that should get you what you need. And there you have it, quick and easy as usual. It's a couple more hoops to jump through, but it will make sure that you don't have any issues getting your projects approved for App Lab because of permissions that you're not asking for. Uh, the alternative is to dig through all your source code and try to find out what's requesting things that you aren't using. And that just seems like way more work than what I just showed you. 
So uh, if you found this useful, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and the like button again, hit it three times just to make sure. Uh, leave a comment, let me know what you think. And I will see you guys next time. I'm still Skid Viz. Peace out.